Are you singing my favorite, Oh Holy Night? Um, no, but Yolanda Adams does a version of that on this show. Okay, mm -hmm. this is my favorite one. We ain't tuning in to watch Yolanda Adams, my friend. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> really good. We do, you know, we do a few. Well, my favorite song, um, my favorite song uh, on the album um, uh, is Mary Did You Know. Favorite song on the album yeah. is Mary Did You Know. And so I, I sing that. That's my favorite one. And I mean, I do a few others as well by myself on the album and, and some uh, others that I like. But uh, Do you go to church on Christmas? I'm sorry? Do you go to church on Christmas? Um, on Christmas Day, no, I don't. We, you know, we usually, in my church that I grew up in was so small that if we could never get enough people gathered together on Christmas Day. Is that right? Wow. There were four, there we, uh, the church I grew up in had an average of about 30 to 40 people show up every, Man. every Sunday. Man, church closed on Christmas. tiny little southern church. How about that? So, uh, <laughs> we went on the Sunday that was closest to Christmas, and we just pretended it was Christmas Day. That's right. Uh, okay. Cool. I was going to get into some religious <laughs> my, no, stuff, church, but I'm not going to. We gonna... didn't go to church on Christmas Day either. We just yeah. go on Sunday. Yeah. We didn't go on Christmas Day. We were, we were raised Baptists. We didn't do that. I was just thinking, and may, may, maybe this is a stereotype, and Shannon says we've got to go to break, but maybe it's a stereotype. But I was just thinking if, you know, knowing how you are, if you decided, like, on Christmas morning that, you you know, you're working or whatever and that you need to take some time off to go to church, I can just see all your people around you going, no, church, what are you talking about? No, you can't do that. We've got to go do the Today Show. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? think that and i thought that going into this as well but you know the people who i've worked with all year long have been very supportive well i mean they've had to be i've told them you know this is what's going to happen and this is how it's going to be so you got a problem you better get over it but you know but i didn't haven't had to worry about it everybody's been very supportive of um of me and my beliefs and and my you know my uh, position on on so many things and and so uh, I've, I've just had a lot of luck and been very fortunate. The people I've worked with have been very supportive. You got to keep those strong because if you if you don't, you see what happens. You know, if if you leave those if you leave that stuff back in your hometown, things don't usually right. go very well on the road to fame. Well, after, well, not just that, but I think you you know you start doing things for the wrong reasons. And that's yeah. kind of not not what I think I was put here for. So, well, I think you're awesome. Oh, well, thank you. Sorry about you now. That's a, <laughs> what are you, uncomfortable. What, well, we turn, just got to win Janine over, the lady out on phone. Yeah. That's right. That yeah. let, me, let me turn that into a question because that was unprofessional. Uh, Clay, do you think you're awesome? You <laughs> <laughs> playing Jeopardy I don't know here? About that. Uh, you ready for the laugh off, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> we had Diana DeGarmo in here yesterday. She's out promoting her new single. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Her album comes out, I think, next week. Right? Yeah, she spoke very highly of you. Oh, well, she's a sweet girl. She's she sang in our studio, and she was amazing. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. She's got some pipes on her, doesn't she? Really good. Yes, she does. All right, Clay, we'll let you go do Bert's show. Um, <laughs> me, <laughs> tell him we said hello. Let me give Bert a call and let him know you're about to call. Yeah, let's Hang do on. that. We're going to make him all behind. Okay, down that line. Okay. Uh, who's the producer that never believes us? Uh, that's his name is, um, Can't uh, Mark, Mark Owens. Mark, okay. Hey, Clay? Clay? Yeah. Okay, hang on, we're getting Bert on. <laughs> okay. Couldn't do it without us. Hello? Hello? Picked up, hang, hung right up. Why would they do that? Because they're waiting for Clay. Hey. Hello? I saw your number. I oh, know. you think? I hope not. Let me try one more time. Oh, Clay. man. Gotta hurry. Yeah, gotta we hurry. do. Come we on, Bert. Go. Come on, Bert. Did you star? No. Hey, this is Casey. I can't answer my phone right now, but leave me a message and I'll call you. That's the, that's the cell phone. What is that? I don't know. Is that the same number I got? Is that his wife? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come that's, on. Don't that's waste That's cell phone? It's got I've, to be. That's not the same number I've got, then. Hey, Clay. Yeah. You want to leave a message for Bert's wife and say, Stacy, I can't be there tonight. Bert knows. <laughs> that's right there. No, that's the number. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. 404. Okay. Oh, there's a you just gave the wrong number? publicist somewhere Hi. screaming. Yeah. Hang on, Clay. Just take a second. Hello? Hello? Bert Show? Well, kind of. Kind of? Who is that? Is it Tracy? Stacy? Tracy. 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 Hi, Tracy. Uh -huh. Hi, Tracy. It's Kid Craddock. How are you? Hey, good. Well, this is actually Tracy St. George, not producer Tracy. Oh, Tracy St. George. There's many Tracys around yes. here. Yes. Listen, I have Clay Aiken on, and he regrets to tell you that because he's having so much fun on our show, he won't be able to do your show today. <laughs> yeah. Clay, would Say you explain hi. that? 
Is that where Clay Aiken laughing? Yes. yes. Shut up! That's Clay right there. That's so cool. I love Clay. Yeah, too bad.